Everybody wearing headphones. I'm Hit very moment. sorry. I'm very sorry for what I'm about to put you through. But I we we didn't know this guy. We didn't know about audio levels. We didn't we didn't fuck around with all that. And because of that, I put in a song in here that is gonna be really, really loud. Uh, we're gonna turn the volume down as much as we can, but still so that we can hear what's going on. But at the same time, giving you for it fair warning, I haven't done this in any of the other videos because it hasn't been this bad up until this point. But headphone warning, if you have headphones, turn your volume down now uh, so that your eardrums do not get ruptured. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mixmaster Mark. And it's Codeman. And we're watching another video that we took part in, or I took part in. Yep. And we, An old production company that I used to be a part of. Um, Trifecta Productions, To The Top Entertainment, and then T3 Entertainment. Yeah, we like to change names a whole lot. Um, so, uh, this is... This was something we did for Halloween. It was a... It was a, it was a fun little film. We, uh, we got a... We got a broken-ass monitor that, uh... Casey's boss was like, Hey... I don't, I don't need this monitor anymore. It don't work. Do whatever you want with it. And we were like, uh, we were all very frustrated at the time. We had a lot of things going on in our life that weren't ideal. And we decided to take out our frustrations on this monitor with a baseball bat and film it. Um, but we decided we didn't want to just, we didn't want to just film us destroying this monitor. We wanted to put a story to it. We wanted to make it to where it was like something that was uh, engrossing and encompassing. So what we ended up coming up with was this uh, cursed monitor that, that didn't work that you'll see. You'll see in the video. But uh, I do want to give a... <laughs> I do want... Uh, it's not really a shout out. It's what, what would be the opposite of a shout out? Alright, so the guy that I said that I was talking about before, uh, the, not Lackey, uh, not Ryan Lackey, um, but uh, one of the guys that I reached out to and was not able to come that bailed on us, he's in this video, and it's so distorted that you can't tell who he is, and if I don't name drop him, then nobody will know. The only person that, that will know guy. We'll will be say, that guy. Just say that guy. And that goes back to... Uh, yeah, something else, another inside joke. But anyway, yes, uh, that guy um, is in this video. Uh, you will know when he's on the in the video because it will be distorted and creepy as fuck. And anyway, uh, let's go ahead and Dive jump right, right in. in. Yeah. Like I said, we renamed our. I redid the font. I redid mm. everything. All right, ready to play this? Let's go. Sorry about the aspect ratio. Uh, I don't know why. It has better sound. Shit had a new screen. A monitor. Why, that one sucked. Yeah, this one sucks, man. I crushed it. In my closet. Too many things were around it. Smushed it. So, I wish I knew something, dude. Back alley guy that's got deals on monitors. You know, speaking of, I think I know somebody. Levi over here, like, let me break out my call. drug dealer phone. <laughs> Make a phone call. <laughs> I'm joking around, but that's the phone all of us had back in the day. Hey, man. Don't don't knock Motorola clip phone, man. Razor was awesome. Let me go out there and see if I can find something. Hey, what can you imagine, man? You always do. I'm on a mystery. I have no idea why he's wearing a tactical vest. He just wanted to. He just wanted to. It was part of his character. Two, Two hours. hours later. Later. Wait, 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 or whatever the fuck this is at the lower half of my face. COVID-19. Look. 
Oh yeah. Long, oily hair, and fucking beardy. Dude, what is going on, man? Damn, man, what you get mad at? Dude, all of a sudden this guy, he was like, man, I can't take it anymore. I was like, you can't take a monitor. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, he just gave it to me. He was offering me. Oh yeah, the music is about to kick up in a minute. When the music kicks up, it's gonna be loud as fuck. It looks pretty new to me, so I think it's pretty good. I think it's gonna work out. Yeah, you ask for something and I come through. I get to it. You did me right there. Hey, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, possible fast. By the way, no script, all improv. You can kind of tell, but good improv. You know, a lot, a lot of. Movies are improv. Improv, good. Yeah. I mean, improv, good. Script is more Read. like a guideline of what you're supposed to exactly. follow. Exactly. Read yeah. from script, bad. Improv, good. That's what we thought back in the day. No, that's not what he said. You're supposed to say it this way on the paper. Fuck that. <laughs> fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck you and fuck your paper. Fuck you. Roll the paper up. Shove it up your ass. This is what much. I think. Fuck you, fuck you very much. much. All right. <laughs> your recurring joke yeah, now. So fuck you very much. You can hear baby Caleb in the background. sound like we're stoners just like having a fucking bad time just like what the fuck is this what the fuck is that oh my god Attaches to his. Uh, it's not your fault. We need one that hangs down like right here, you know. Where all it does is pick up your voice, not anything else. We're in this together. Till the end. Yeah, she started crying. Like I don't know what he was pulling out, but he was just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig deep. I'm gonna start crying. I'm like, oh man, Levi, jeez. Whatever it takes. All right, here we go. Lower your volume now. Put your pants. Hey, that's 
why I got drawstrings now. RPG Maker, honestly. I already know what you're gonna say. What? Me? No, no. I already know what the comments are gonna say. Yeah, that's unrealistic as fuck. But, I mean, I, I cropped it in there the way that on the broken pieces that were still. This was fucking, all before me. This is all before any kind of, like, any kind of professional understanding, you know, of any kind of effects or anything, and I mean, for a first time, you, it's so, not bad. You did good. You did good. Uh, you know, of locking cropping it, off, it. cropping yeah. it in there. Yeah, of like I uh, would have the thing that I would have done uh, a little bit different, just just a tad bit different, is I would have came in here with with the mask and kind of smoothed everything out yeah. a little bit better. That way, it kind of blends in with the screen, making it more look more realistic, and maybe even. Yeah, there, kind there's of a, a shine. Yeah, I got you know? you, I got what you mean. Uh, there's like a yeah, uh, around, even around the original like video when we were watching like the thing in the apartment, the uh, the screen is actually real fucking rigid, like around the edges and stuff. So it, it was it was it was a task to. It's it's a challenge out. whenever you whenever you want to put in effects like that. It is a challenge mm -hmm. because it's it's difficult to. Uh, for one thing, it's it's difficult to get a believable still shot of of the image that you're trying to that you're trying to impose the thing on. Like if I was to I don't know say take out my phone right now, we would both have to be absolutely still, or my phone would have to be absolutely Either still for me to put have, my image. I would, or I mean, not even that. I mean, or we'd, we'd have, have to, to track it. Yeah, we'd, we'd have, have to, to track, track it. it. We'd have to put something on there to to make it easier to track. Not it, even that. It, you don't even have to do that. Yeah, um, you do. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you want to do motion tracking, sure. But like, that's if what you're I'm just saying. doing a if basic. I've, if if you're I've just got my phone doing like that, you know, you can track it by using a point or something. Exactly. But you know, it's harder that way. But that, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it'd be easier to have like little tracking, like you know, something Dots. on there to 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 keep it in there, and you know. But uh, all of that was free-handed. That's the reason why, like, it looks the way that it does. It, it's it was the first time that I ever did anything like that. That was all me, my uh, effects and stuff. Um, anyway, on with the show. Think about you did sleep work. <laughs> still glass I could have still cropped it out but at that point I was being lazy and I said no I'm not doing this again uh, it was too much trouble the first time could have had some sparks or something yeah, yeah I, I could have done something with it but you know maybe you've got somebody one of the guys to use like fishing line or something to, <clears throat> to kind of pull it to make it look like it was you know trying to still come to life but hey that's what that's what videos like this are for. It's for retrospect of looking back on the things that you did. <coughs> you know, bad, good, whatever. Anyway, uh, the next song that is playing, I'm pretty sure, is from a Naruto fighting game. This time. I really did. Like, 
I, I just, I went ham on that fucking computer. I was so pissed off about shit. As you can see. Alright. Oh, no, no, keep going. Uh, what's the point of that? Alright. It's a reference. It's a reference to Scott Pilgrim. Okay. Scott Pilgrim has a sword that pops out of his chest. He uses it in the movie uh, and in the comics. Uh, if you've read them, uh, if you've watched the movie, uh, yeah, uh, but realistically, if it was going to be a proper reference, it should have came out of my chest, but I decided, I'm going to pull a sword out of Levi. You know? There you go. I mean, that, that'd be easier than he having lost a sword. He already lost his wife, his children, his job. Might as well just... I wanted, to, sword I, out. I wanted to send that thing back to hell where it came from. And so the best way to do that is to pull a, a spirit sword out, out of Levi's chest and, and just fucking go ham on it. But we'll see how that goes here in a second. Alright, the sword. Yeah. Grab the sword, man! Guilty Gear. Another fighting game with a rocking soundtrack. And then y'all should have like thrown like a match or something back there to where it goes. Alright, so uh, pause it real fast. So my original idea for doing a sequel was to have me come back from like from the future to this point in time we all walked off screen and all of that pasture you know uh it's family owned i, I could still have access to it as soon as levi walked off screen i could have paused it had a still frame and had me like pop out of a portal or something to where like oh fuck i'm too late you know um but the the planned sequel that i had originally envisioned involved all of us it involved, it was going to be like a, a return to form for all of us where I get into contact with everybody and everybody has gone their separate ways and everything. Just like they have in real life for the most part. Uh, I've reconnected with a whole bunch of people uh, over the last year or so uh, because of, you know, pomp and circumstance. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway. Um, but we plan on, I want, we want to do a sequel for sure. Yeah. Um, if not a sequel, at least a reboot for it. Yeah. Know? So but before we talk over. about that, uh, let's go ahead and break this video down. Yep. What do you think of... I know this is like one of your favorite ones that we've done. Yes, it's one of my favorites because it was well put together. Yeah. It was well put together. Even though it was still, you know, a little... Janky? No, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say even amateurish. I'm just going to say that... Beginner. We, still, but y'all were getting better. We That's had a lot... Whenever we did Curse Monitor, this was after Noir... It was after a whole bunch of shit that we had already, like, worked out. Uh, some of the stuff that we had done on Casey's channel, some of the stuff that, I, that we did on ours. Uh, this was before we started doing Epic Meal Nights. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we had actually gotten to the point to where we were getting better at editing. Uh, there's one spot in here that I that, that bothers the fuck out of me every time I see it. Because uh, me and Casey are sitting on the couch in the recliner, and whenever Levi knocks at the door... Um, we, whenever we get both get back up, I say, all right, Casey, right, you know, to cut it. And I, I forgot to fucking cut that part out. And it just, it's barely noticeable. It's something that's very minuscule, but you know what I mean. Maybe we should do Curse Monitor 2 for the, uh, film festival. That's a possibility. I, I, I don't think it'd be that hard to film. I mean, especially that bumper. Well. That I wanted to film. Um. Uh, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure that I still have access to this this exact same pasture that we filmed this in. 
Uh, it's right across from my childhood home and right next to the graveyard where... Pretty much every pasture in East Texas looks the same, so... Yeah, but, I mean, it would, uh, you know, it, it would make more sense for us. I don't care, man. It, it, would, it wouldn't really matter, yeah. Uh, originally, uh, it was going to be a, not a coming-of-age story, but a... We've all been separated for many years, and we're coming back together to face this big threat that, that is coming back to, to haunt us because of what we did in this video. Uh, the curse is not over. The curse is still in, in existence. And that, that may or you know may or may not be the plot, but it's not going to involve time travel. I'm tired of fucking time travel. I've seen it in everything now. Uh, you know, I, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of the concept of time travel. Yeah. You know, I think uh, I think we need we need to do either a reboot of it or a uh, I think uh, uh, just a sequel. I think the best thing would be to do either uh, uh, maybe both, like maybe have it where it's a reboot but also a sequel, like something that takes place. You know, where we revitalize the uh, the story, we rebrand the story, but we take it in a different direction. And also, it happens concurrently in the timeline of this video, like where it happens after. Uh, you know, Casey's schedule is, but Levi's schedule is. That's the it's, only thing, trying to schedule everybody to do it. Plus, we have the COVID thing going on, and we. It's hard to do careful. anything nowadays. It's hard to do anything right now, but uh, honestly, um, you know, a lot of the stuff that, since we're here, you know. Yeah. Uh, I think we could. We could uh, pull it off me and you, you know, because the bumper trailer is not going to have anybody in it. You know, that, that's the thing. It's not going to have anybody in it. Uh, there's going to be, you, you're going to see the monitor for a brief second, but if y'all don't know what a bumper trailer is, it's going to be, that's what they normally call a teaser. So, uh, for an example, you know, we got Ghostbusters Afterlife coming up. You know, they had the teaser yeah. out for the longest time. Before they actually had the real trailer out, so that's what they're calling. That's what's known as a bumper. So, yeah. I don't know. We could do. We could do that. We could do a trailer where we all like. Uh, we could. I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, we came up with the idea like if we, me and Casey, were talking back and forth about this a while back uh, about the curse being connected to a crossroads demon. You know. We got plenty of crossroads around here, guys. It, it, it wouldn't be all that hard to film something like that. Um, there's like one right up there. There's one down there, but I'm not going to the one down there because there's a lot of traffic. Yeah, no. Uh, but my point was, you know, we've got a lot of crossroads around here. It wouldn't be all that hard to find one that's, you know, remote that we could film something like this on the side of the road for. And you know, uh, it, that was the original idea whenever we were talking back back and forth with Casey. But some of the people don't. Uh, some of the people don't want to come back, and, and and that's understandable. I mean, I I can't I can't force people to, to fucking work together. And I mean, no matter what I do or say, I can't fix situations that are that are beyond my control. I I, I have had to come to accept that and uh, just but, uh, move on with what I've got. It's all right. It's okay. We'll we'll make it work. We'll we'll we we'll, we'll make do. Um, and I mean, the other thing is, is that I got. I got the kids. I mean, the kids are, are down for anything. Is and honestly, they're not bad little actors. They're not. They're they're honestly not. Uh, all the stuff uh, we we had to rehearse and rehearse and rehearse, but all the stuff on they, they did it. They got the, it in the uh, the made the power protect you videos. They they did it. They did it well. So I I mean I don't think it would be all that difficult to to get them to film some stuff like this. And I I mean. Jamie is really big into horror franchises, so I mean, it, he would be down. I'm pretty sure. There's, that would be a good horror film, though. I mean, we could we could make this like a true scary type I film. Know you know, about something. That. Well, I mean, you know, don't make it so scary that you know nobody can watch it, but you know, make it scary enough. To I go. don't want to go like hereditary levels here. Maybe Mandy. Yeah. If you have you seen Mandy, if you haven't seen Mandy, you need to. It is one of the best Nicolas Cage movies ever. And that probably doesn't say very much to many people, but seriously, watch Man, it. fuck them. Nicolas Cage is an awesome actor, dude. Give it a chance. 
He hardly says anything in this entire movie. All everything that he does, though, is is just visceral rage. and pure rage, and it's it's just a, an adrenaline based horror mill. Uh, horror. In the milk. words of of the Mark Hamill Joker in the Killing Joke, it all starts with one bad day. But no, give Mandy a go. It, it's it's a very good movie. It's 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 a it's a testosterone adrenaline rush. Of a horror film that uh, it feels pretty trippy and, and drug drug induced at times, but it, it's a damn good movie. I, I want to own that damn axe that he has in that movie. That is a badass weapon. It reminded me of Lord Zed, honestly. That's right. He went out there and he just made he just it. He fucking forged it. Forged just was it. like, you know what? These pieces of shit. I'm gonna fucking make my own. Okay. I got a, a sword, a fucking pickaxe, and an axe at the same time. What are you gonna do? And then he gets into a chainsaw fight. A chainsaw fight! Where he wins. And he wins! And shoots a guy through the neck with a... What was it? He had a crossbow? Yeah, I think so. He shot him through the neck with a crossbow. Dude lived. Fucking fought him with the, with the axe, and, and it, it's, it's a it's, fucked up movie. It's fucked up, but it's good. But it's good. It's it's a great movie. What was that one? Uh, that other one that, uh, what's his name? The plays John Wick. Who's the guy? Keanu Reeves. The other one that's on Netflix. That's. Oh, no. I don't like that one. Uh, it's uh, not bad though. It's not bad. It's really not. I, Have I, you seen it? No. It's not bad. But I didn't like it from the trailers because... That's from the trailers. You gotta watch it all the way through. It's actually not bad. The one that... Uh, I don't remember what the title of this movie is. But the one that, that really gets me is um, the movie where the... You, I was talking about it this morning. Uh, where the woman gets married and basically uh, it's all... Like, from the very beginning, a setup from her family that she married into. Mm. Uh, they they have a home invasion, and come to find out this woman is a, a survivor of a survivalist camp, like a cult, basically, where she was, like, trained to, to murder people, and she just snaps and just starts fucking killing everybody in the damn house. And it is, it is a great movie. But I can't remember what the fucking name of it is. There's, also, the life of me. there's also Hush. Hush was a good movie. Ooh, yes, it, that's it, enough about horror movies. Yeah, and uh, um, that's you know just let us know if you guys want to see a sequel. I'm sure y'all would. I'm sure y'all would. I, we're gonna make one anyway. We're gonna make one anyways. I mean, it. All right. I don't want to sound like I don't want to sound like pompous and arrogant, but it doesn't matter what you guys say. We're gonna make it make anyways. Anyway, you know. Yeah. If you guys like it, that's great. If y'all don't, uh, I don't care. Uh, None of my videos are made for kids, even if they feature a child every now and again. Yeah. So. Definitely not for... Fuck, 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 fuck! All these fucks that are flying around, our, and yet our, I give none of them. Our uh, film stars pirates in it because it's rated R. I know that was bad. Sound! Anyway. <laughs> Thanks for... <laughs> Sad. Fuck! Thanks for watching. Yeah, guys. Later. Stay safe. Be good. Mm -hmm. We'll see you around.